Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Well, you saw that right. We are going to try some copper flame painting. Uh, if you've never seen it before, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, there are some people that are so skilled at this that they can make patterns and designs. This is my second time trying this. I actually tried it the other day, just briefly, just to kind of see what it's about. But uh, I saw Claire's Crafty Corner, I believe is her name. I will leave her link in the description box below. Um, but she is, she's like me, she likes to try all kinds of new things. Uh, she's not really afraid to try new stuff, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, she's not super afraid of that. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video short. I know my last ones were really, really long, and I noticed that uh, not a lot of you were watching because of that reason, probably. Uh, so what we're going to start with today is we have these copper blanks. They come just like this. And then on the back, it has blue plastic. We're going to peel that plastic off. I got these on Amazon. Uh, they are 1.25 uh, 18 gauge copper stamping blanks. And there's a package of 12 of them. Uh, my torch I got on Amazon as well. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description box. It is a butane torch. It has multiple settings on the torch here. So you can go from low to high. And then uh, it's a pretty nice little torch. I've got a bowl of water here uh, because what we're going to do is in between times because you need to let it cool off completely in between uh, rounds and in order to speed up the cooling process we're going to quench it which is dunking it into the cold water. Uh, once we're done with that we're going to drill a hole in the center of it and we're going to turn it into a necklace. Uh, super easy and uh, going to be quick. I do have some leaves coming in. I'm going to do some work on those. Uh, they're going to be about the same size probably, maybe a little bigger, but they're going to be leaves, and we're going to do some flame painting on those. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can either hold it yourself, or you can get you one of these little devices right here. With this little device, I have a magnifying glass on here, and I can clip it on. The problem with that is, if I need to quench it, uh, I have to unhook it from it, and it may be hot. So, I'm going to hold it with my pliers, and then I'm just going to quench it. Um, I'm going to peel out the plastic here. Ah, that was satisfying. <laughs> How's everyone doing this evening? I hope everybody's doing fine. So, we're going to start out with our flame on the highest setting. And we are going to start kind of turning the whole thing kind of a gray. We want to turn it gray. Best that I can see. Okay, so if you notice, it kind of kind of looks one color. It's not quite copper. Uh, it kind of has a, almost a silvery effect to it. We're going to stick that in here. You hear it sizzle when we put it in. Now we're going to let the water drip off right quick here. Because I do notice that when I did this the last time, the water tends to hold up on the top of it here a little bit. Okay, we're going to leave this on high again. And as you heat up your copper, it's going to change colors. But if you go past a certain point and if you overheat it, it's going to go back to copper color. I'm going to try to get some designs in here. That again. Now if you notice here, if you can see the colors. Okay, now I'm going to turn the flame down about probably a notch, maybe. It's a nice thing about this little torch is you can adjust it. Now, do be forewarned, your tip of your pliers will be hot also. So I'm holding mine on the rubber handle. Here a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, see it changing colors? Okay, and I don't want that to go any more than that. I kind of like that purple on there. I want to try to get a little bit here on this end. Really liking that color. went too far with it if you start going so far that you notice you're losing your color that means your copper is getting too hot and you need to let it cool down thoroughly I'm really loving this design I'm gonna do it about one more time I think and then I'm going to drill a hole in it and we'll turn it into a necklace uh, you can clear coat this uh, there's a couple different ways one of them is you can clear coat it with UV resin which is what we're going to do tonight. We're going to just give it a top coat of UV resin. And then uh, draw a hole through it. And we're going to put it on a necklace chain. Um, okay, we're going to do this one more time here. I'm actually going to turn the flame down just a little bit more. Got it turned down like right here. That water, see that water on top? that okay that's very pretty okay we're gonna quench that right there okay now we're gonna lay that right here for now and move our torch actually let's do one more see what pattern we get with it since they don't take very long to do all right Very, very, very pretty. I love these copper. Okay. Let's move this one out of the way here. Alright. I'll turn my torch back up. Okay. Keep this all up good. We have changed it to one, pretty much one color right here. Hear that sizzle? <laughs> that tells you that's how hot it is, guys. So be really careful when you're doing this that you do not touch this. Uh, I don't want anybody to get burnt. And I believe me, I accidentally touched the pliers the other night when I was playing around with this. And they do get quite hot, so be very careful on that as well. All right. Up here, I'm gonna turn this down that one notch again. I'll try to do this on the edge here. Okay, I think I want a little more purple in it. A little bit more here. I'm going to quench it, and we're going to do it again. Like I said, there are people that are so skilled at this. Of course, they're using a big torch. Uh, the big, I don't know if they're the settling torches or not, but they are adjusting the oxygen levels, and there's a lady that is amazing that I saw. I um, can't remember her name now. I'll, have to, I'll post it in the description box. I watched a video of her doing this years ago, and she travels around Arizona, and uh up into nevada and utah and stuff and she goes to like craft shows i don't know if she's still doing it gypsy something and hers are spectacular i mean spectacular and i've seen people do full-size paintings using a blowtorch and the flame Uh, a 
to, I don't know, I still think I want more. Let me go back up to high heat again. I'm going to give this just a second to cool down, guys. If you're not using the water, uh, it normally takes about 10 minutes or so for this to cool down enough to be able to do it again. Uh, but with the water, it does cool it down quite a bit. It does because the metal is still holding some of the heat. It will heat back up quickly, I have noticed, just in my few tries of this. And like I said, I watched a few videos on what I was doing and what I was doing wrong. Because my first one didn't quite turn out the way I wanted and it kept changing almost back to its original color. I like that. Kind of looks like an eye in the center almost. Ah! We dropped it in the water, which isn't going to hurt it. Alright. Very pretty. Very, very pretty, guys. And there's a lot of different things you can do. And like I said, I am by no means an expert on this. But I just saw this and I love to try new things. And I figured I'd bring you all along with me. Uh, so now what we're going to do is, because in order to make them necklaces, I've been playing, I was playing around with one. And I was trying to figure out how to do a wire wrap on it. And I'm going to work on that. Uh, but until then, the easiest way to do it is just going to be to uh, actually drill a hole in it. And that's what we're going to do. Is we're just going to drill a hole in it. And uh, put a jump ring on it. See, it's cooled down. And then I'm going to do this one. And see, that one's already cooled down. No longer what it was there. Quenching it really helps make it cool off faster. All right, so we're gonna actually we're gonna UV resin it first, and then we are going to um, and then we will put it on a chain. I'll show you how to do that. Let me grab my UV resin here. Right back, guys. I'm sorry about that. Let me turn my fan off here. I'm sure it's probably driving y'all crazy. So this little kit I bought came with a bunch of jewelry molds, and it came with this resin, this little UV resin lamp. It's to do nails with, I'm sure, but it works just fine to do resin. Y'all like my new setup here? So much nicer. And say so you just turn it on like so, and we'll put it over the top of them. So, we're just going to put a very, very, very thin coat, guys. Can you see this here? Let me see. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put a thin, thin coat on here. Get my popsicle stick here handy so we can spread it out. Now, I have heard the UV resin does make it all the color down just a tad so I am going to experiment with some others I've heard that you can do another finish on it and I'm going to try it but for now I did see this one and I did think it looked really really beautiful with this resin I'm going to spread this resin just to the edge we don't want to push it over the edge but we're going to push it out to the edge. And we, like I said, I'm just putting a very, very thin coat on here just to keep this from oxidizing back to a different color. Because metal does oxidize. And copper, as we know, if you set it out, will change colors just from the elements. We're spreading this resin out here. I might need just a little bit more. Uh, the resin I'm using is called Zulflu UV Resin Fast Curing High Gloss Odorless. Uh, I got it off of Amazon as well. That's why I tend to do a lot of shopping. I do not drive, so Amazon is very handy. 
for me to get art and craft supplies off of. Alright. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It is free, doesn't cost a thing, and it helps my channel to grow. Uh, I aspire to be a great help to all of you, inspiring you to do new things, to try new crafts, and to, just in general, just try new things and not be afraid. If it's a fail, it's a fail. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do these things on a budget, so you're not going to spend your last dollar trying to do these and then find out you don't like it. It's what I try to do. I try to do it where I spend as little as possible on my original startup costs. And then if it's something I like, I'm going to invest a little more into it. But just to find out if I like it, I'm going to show you the most economical route to do this. Uh, I bought these little blanks and this torch. I already had this little thing. Because I do a lot of jewelry anyway. And I have a lot of jewelry findings and stuff to go with it. So uh, when we get to the point where we're doing more of these. I am going to do a lot more of these. And uh, I will be posting them on my Etsy store. And like I said I've got leaves coming in to be here tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Uh, if there's something you guys want to see me do. Just leave a comment in the box below, and we will sure give it a try. I'm willing to try anything I have. Like I said, I have a variety of craft projects already here, so it's not like it would be a big deal. Okay. So, I'm going to right quick take my heat gun quickly here, and I'm going to heat up this resin just so it kind of spreads a little nicer and even make sure there's no bubbles in it A little spot right here that I'm missing. We got that out. Okay. Perfect. Love my little heat gun here. Alright, so I'm going to put my lid back on here because I do not want to cure it. UV resin, if you don't know, cures with the sun. So if you don't have one of these little lamps, if you are somewhere where it's sunny, you can also set them outside on a sunny day. We're going to give this a shot. It takes just about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to do it a couple more times at 30 seconds a pop until it is fully cured. Very, very fun. It's a warm night here in Florida. Of course, most nights in Florida are warm. Um, <laughs> so, where are y'all at if you watching this leave a comment in the description box below and let me know where you're where you're watching from i could have put you on pause for this but it won't take long and like i said this is going to be a relatively quick video so not like our last ones while that's curing right quick i'm going to grab my jumper in. i've already got my necklaces out I have a multi-pack of jump rings here. I'm going to hit this another time. Uh, 
I have silver and gold, and then I have little lobster clasps as well. Um, I think I'm going to do the gold on these. And then I have some brown. I buy these on, bought these on Amazon. They come in brown and silver. If you saw my great video where I resin the uh, clay, it's the same ones I use there. They come in white, gray, gold, black, and this brown color. And I thought this brown color would be really pretty with the copper. Alright, let's see. I think I'm going to do a medium sized jump ring here. Yeah, I think I'll give it one more here. And I have a Dremel, but I can't find my little drill bit for my Dremel, so I have my full-size cordless drill that we're going to use to do this. I have a board that I'm going to put it under because it does it. We're not going all the way through. We're just we just got to go through this little piece of copper, so that will not take us long to do. Oh, these turned out so pretty. I can see the colors in them. They look beautiful. I was just so intrigued with this, and I want to practice with this further, and I want to play around with this torch some and see if I can actually start getting some patterns. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. All right, let's see what we got here. Yes, all right. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to move this, and I'm going to bring my board in here. Move these out of the way. Got my board right here. Alright, and this one here, I'm going to put the hole about where I was holding it with the pliers. You can kind of see that there. And on this one, you can kind of see where I had a hold of it with the pliers. And it didn't change colors. Oh, okay. Helps if we tighten down our drill bit. I can never get this straight. Alright. I'm going to bring it down just a hair. Okay, so one note, we may want to drill these ahead of time before we resin them and before we do it because I did scratch this one just a little bit around the edge there. Maybe I have the wrong drill bit for this. Very good possibility. Okay, what's going on? Let me see if it's because of this resin. No, it is walking. Okay, if anybody could tell me why it's doing this, guys. I mean, is it the wrong kind of bit? Maybe it's not a metal bit. I know there is a difference in them. Okay, so we're going to skip this one for now. I'm going to do some more work to it. But I'm going to re-resin the other one. This is a nice thing about resin. You can kind of cover up your imperfections. So I'm just going to put a little bit more resin on here. Wipe it off just a little. Okay, what the 
alcohol here. I'm gonna wipe this off just to get any of the metal shavings off of it. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I said this was going to be a short video, and what did I do? I turned it into a long one. All right. We are going to spread this out. Now, I do want to try to avoid this hole as much as possible. Because we don't want to fill the hole that we just drilled. Especially since we had such an issue drilling it to begin with. So we're going to go right to the edge of it here. And we're going to out to the edge. Now guys, you can also stamp into these. Um, you can, if you have a Cricut, you can print off things. If not, you can even buy stickers at Dollar Tree. And put on here. We're going to try something with a few of those too as well. We're going to do names or letters, initials. And then that way, with this in the background, and then we'll do an initial in the center. And then we'll resin over the top of it. Right out here at the edge, guys, but not over the edge. Resin will follow itself. If you push it too far, it will go over the edge, and we don't want to do that. I want to go right up to this hole. All right. Okay, so we're going to cure this again. I'm going to pause you all for that. My dog's barking. I'm going to pause you right quick. Okay, guys. We're back. Can you see how pretty this turned out? I love how shiny they are with the resin on them. You can still see the colors in it. But it did mute them just a touch. Uh, I'm really mad at myself that I messed that up when I drove the hole in it. Uh, like I said, I did try to do one. And try to do a wire wrap one. Um, I wanted to try to match the purples in it and the blues. I think I'm going to try this again, but I'm going to try a little smaller gauge wire. Uh, instead of this purple, I'm going to use a little smaller gauge, and I think that might work. I don't want to cover up the design, though. That's my only pro problem here. Uh, like I said, if anybody knows why that drill is so hard to drill through here, or is it just that copper is so hard to drill through? I thought copper was pretty... And actually, so I don't know. Okay. So we're going to put these on. I opened up my jump ring. my jump ring here you can do this with two pairs of pliers some jump rings are really really heavy these are not bad you just want to do it till it snaps back closed from where it was originally if you're ever worried about these coming loose you can put just a drop of super glue on it or a drop of resin and cure it as well. And we're going to put our train through here right quick. My 
like this color with it. It's very pretty. Figured this color of a chain would look good with it. Look at this. Alright guys, so what do we think? Do we like the flame painting? I really do. I Like I said, I want to play with this a little bit more. I'm very intrigued by it. I want to, I want to see what else we can do with it. Are you getting too close there? There we go. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice and showing all the different colors in it. Alright, well guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I want everybody to have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.